A man can change a nation. Generations after generations wait for the man, their leader. Most of the Bangladeshis believe their own leader is in the process of emergence. They believe that leader exhibits a rare mix of personality, capability, integrity, and popularity. And they believe he'll change the face of Bangladesh for better and forever. That leader is no other person but Tariq Rahman, the senior vice chairman of Bangladesh Nationalist Party, BNP, the largest political party of today's Bangladesh. For forward-looking Bangladeshis, Tariq Rahman isn't just a person anymore. He isn't just a politician anymore. He's a symbol. He's a symbol of nationalism. He's a symbol of patriotism. And most importantly, he's symbol of a political thought. A thought that takes its root in the grassroots of Bangladesh. A thought that sees Bangladesh in the eyes of the common people. And a thought that's shared by all the Bangladeshis wanting reformation in politics and policies. Even international experts argue that Tariq Rahman isn't just the most competent politician of contemporary Bangladesh, but also the most celebrated person whom his countrymen want to see right at the top. His past has a track record of public excellence. Present has the reflection of a dynamic working plan. And future has the promise to raise the hopes of millions. Tariq Rahman, Rahman is of itself quite an important story. What comes through the man, however, through these stories, is that he understands, he gets it in democratic terms better than most politicians throughout the world. In the several opportunities that he had to advance himself to a status, he stood back because he wanted to develop the party organisation. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a great man. He will be a future Prime Minister. It is very important to understand that individuals like Mr. Wadma, based on his past um, involvement politically in Bangladesh, is very positive for the country. And it's very positive for the country because you get thinkers and leaders like Mr. Obama who are going to make a difference. What individual? What individual who's going to make a difference? My style about Tariq Rahman. But any time that I see someone who's struggling for the people, for people, to lift people up, to give them an opportunity, to make sure that they have education, jobs, housing, that is something that is inspiring. We are looking to be inspired by youthful, energetic leaders who can offer people hope and a chance. I have always been moved by the strength and the resilience and the integrity of Tariq Rahman. As a revolutionary leader in contemporary Bangladesh, Mr. Rahman has announced his dream to make Bangladesh a self-sustaining nation with its resources by awakening the people and the land. He has announced his dream to make Bangladesh stand on its own feet as a modern and powerful state. Tariq Rahman is just not a name to the general Bangladesh anymore, but he's an emotional symbol that generates inquisitive attention and deep admiration. Having subjected to political vengeance and unprecedented propaganda, he stands tall as the leader of today and the leader of tomorrow. Leader that really it captures uh, the hopes and the dreams of the people in the country, and I think that that's that's wonderful. It's very exciting, and really, it's very essential to any democratic process that you have good leaders in place that uh, that can really carry the vision of the people and uh, and work together with with everyone in the community to fulfill.
fulfill that vision. And it appears to me that um, that he has uh, he has indeed done that. It is that organizational capacity that Mr. Rahman has been working towards uh, that we will see uh, a result in the election with uh, with uh, uh, with great success. And I just want to compliment that work that uh, he has been doing in the political party. Tariq Rahman's life is not a straightforward story of power and politics. It's a rather complex story of commitment, contribution, character and conspiracy. To understand Tariq Rahman, a combination of nature and nurture through political upbringing, one must understand the personal background of his rise. Born on the 20th of November 1965, Tariq Rahman's father, Shahid President Ziaur Rahman, is the proclaimer of Bangladesh's independence, decorated hero of the Liberation War, first elected president of the country, and the most accomplished leader of its history. Tariq Rahman's mother, Begum Khalida Ziha, played central role in re-establishing democracy, became a record three times Prime Minister, and remains the chairperson of the BNP. Tariq Rahman is a unique person in the world to have both parents as the great president and Prime Minister of Bangladesh. His life is integrated with the origin, inception, and emergence of the Bangladesh as an independent state. You are very fortunate, of course, uh, to, have, uh, 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 to have a family of such extraordinary, extraordinary political leadership and prowess. And um, I, I thought it was tough, you said quite well, it, it's, it's an issue, uh, to some extent, in the growth of democracies. Um, to what extent one can rely entirely on these extraordinary um, uh, families. But certainly the foundation, I hope, of your democracy, it's great to have had these very courageous, very courageous uh, families and obviously intellectually very gifted uh, people. And, uh, and Tariq, of course, is, is no exception. Having passed SSC and HSC examinations with commanding results, Tariq Rahman entered the University of Dhaka and graduated at the height of the movement against the autocratic regime of Hussein Mohammed Ershad, which his mother, Begum Khalida Zia, was leading. Tariq Rahman then joined the lower tier of the BMP as a primary member in his father's native, Gaptali Obabzila of Bagura district, and assembled support during the national elections of 1991. He was a member of the BMP's National Campaign Strategy Committee and successfully coordinated the campaign in five constituencies from which his mother was contesting. Furthermore, he proactively organized the units of Bagura BNP to make politics more production and development orientated. During the ruling of the Awami League government between 1996 and 2001, Tariq Rahman mobilized movement against his misrules and atrocities. He was the architect of the comprehensive campaign of the BMP-led alliance, which drove the landslide victory in the national elections of 2001. There was pressure on Tariq Rahman for all sections to assume a position within the government, but he didn't occupy any public office and kept working within the BMP instead, so as to build a strong party which would build a stronger nation. Thereafter, the Standing Committee of the BMP unanimously elected Tariq Rahman as the Senior Joint Secretary General. He reorganized the BMP nationwide to bring about positive changes. He utilized politics for common welfare and challenged the political culture of speeches and accusations. Ashur, Amade Desh, Ebong Amade Jati Juno, Edesh Manush Juno, Amra, Aro Beshi, Abodan Rakti Shakum Hoy. Priyonetribindo, Ashur, 
আমরা সকলেই দেশ এবং এই দেশের মানুষের জন্য রাজনীতি করি আসুন আমাদের জীবনের একটি উল্লেখযোগ্য সময় আমরা ব্যয় করি আমাদের এই প্রিয় মাতৃভূমির জন্য কারণ এই দেশ এই দেশের ভূখণ্ড এই মাতৃভূমি আমাদেরকে দিয়েছে একটি স্বাধীন দেশের নাগরিক হওয়ার সম্মান He traveled from one corner of the country to the other to actively participate in discussions with leaders and activists as well as to meet and greet the general people. In doing so, he reformulated the BMP as the country's only political party truly of the people, by the people and for the people. Tariq Rahman contended that what we need in Bangladesh is not division, hatred, violence or disorder, but unity and cohesion, love and wisdom, empathy toward each other, and a feeling of justice towards those who suffer day in and day out. Tariq Rahman envisioned Bangladesh as a land of opportunity, where everyone would be judged by the content of their character and contribution to the country, irrespective of their social backgrounds, financial conditions, or political affiliations. Setting an example of political norm, he visited the grave of the Awami League leader, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and paid homage to the departed soul. While the Awami League and Sheikh Hasina speak outrageously about Tariq Rahman and his sanctified parents, he never disrespected anyone, an attitude that countered the conventional political mal-culture. Tariq Rahman's concept was that communication between policymakers and grassroots is central to good governance. Shikha Jatir Merudondo Krishokra Edesher Arthonitir Merudondo Aki Habe Abi Monikuri Shamogro Bangladesh Amar Union Porjay Shakol Netribindo BNP Unnoyan Ego Utpazo Nete Rajniti Tar Merudondo Ashur Aske Amra Cheshtakuri Apna De Paramasho Amade Shakali Milito Alochonar Madhume Kibabe Amade Desh Ego Amade Jati Juno Edesher Manushe Juno Amra to put the theory in practice, he arranged grassroots conferences on Thana, Union, District and Division levels, interacted with over a hundred thousand party activists and measured performance by social and development works. He introduced a process through which politicians used their positions to emerge as social heroes they launched movements to guide, support and inspire others and made their communities solvent, harmonious and peaceful. Mr. Rahman's political ideology seems to center around creating a renewed political party that is not simply restricted to achieving political objectives of power, but also a party that contributes to the wider development of programs in the country. He could say Mr. Rahman was probably the first and amongst the foremost leader in South Asian politics who pragmatically put the no notion of participatory political organization into practice. And do you know how he did that? Through grassroots participation. Tarek Rahman is a different kind of politician from the majority. Through his campaigns and tireless touring of the villages and towns in Bangladesh, he has taken the trouble to find out the needs and the concerns of the people, opening a real dialogue and encouraging them to get involved at the grassroots level, from the bottom up. <laughs> and working towards solving the community's problems. 
Tarek Rahman has shown over many years his deep concern for the economic deprivation that affects so many people and he wants to improve their living standards. These are very noble objectives. The approach that Tarek Rahman adopts I think is very close to some of the work that we've done in community organising where we've supported individuals to come together to improve their communities by putting pressure on institutions, businesses and governments, trying to identify the issues that matter to local people, the central leaders sitting on the stage who normally used to give speeches in all political occasions, silently listening to the speeches of the grassroots leaders and taking notes of their major points. It seems to me that that theme is one that we see in the approach advocated by Tarek Rahman, and it's one that is very, I think, strongly supported. Small groups of people come together, be active, and can really be resolute in their advocacy and make a difference. That's how Tariq Rahman's duty-bound political ethos pointed to a new Bangladesh. For the first time in the country's history, Tariq Rahman handed over 59 policy proposals to the then Prime Minister, based on the suggestions of the grassroots and thereby integrated them into mainstream policy making. Further to Tariq Rahman's political attainments like social reformist, as a unique politician, he personally formed a charity after his father's name, Ziaur Rahman Foundation, and took a rural-based development perspective. Ziaur Rahman Foundation ekti or rajnoitik beshorkari o sheva mulok shangot. Shoid Ziaur jibondashai একটি বড় সময় কেটেছে এদেশের মানুষের উন্নয়নের কথা চিন্তা করে তার পরিকল্পনা ছিল দারিদ্র্য দূরীকরণ অর্থনৈতিক সমৃদ্ধি সামাজিক নিরাপত্তা ও স্থিতিশীলতা an initiative and a little endeavor bring self solvency and make the country self reliant this drama traveled extensively and tirelessly to hold parlays with activists across the country on a daily basis. He initiated much interest in the development of the agricultural and industrial centers of Bangladesh. He conducted large-scale surveys to know the exact amounts of fishes, fruits, patties produced in the villages across the country. Nothing was behind his imagination or his reach. By doing and thinking so much for the general people of the country, Mr. Rahman has slowly but steadily become the undisputed political leader of Bangladesh. Tariq Rahman stood by the people's sides by all means, just as one of them in their sorrows and happiness, in their daily lives and in their special occasions. He launched poverty alleviation programs and distributed livestock to 4,862 families. কোন রাজনীতিতে কিছু তো না রাজনীতিতে তো এই ধরনের মানুষকে নিয়ে বা মানুষকে নিয়ে তো মানুষের যেটা উপকারে লাগবে দেশের যেটা কাজে লাগবে এরকম বিষয় নিয়ে রাজনীতি শুধু স্লোগান বা মিছিল বা মিটিং এটা রাজনীতি হতে পারে রাজনীতির তো উদ্দেশ্য লক্ষ্য থাকে উদ্দেশ্য লক্ষ্য হচ্ছে যে बेनिफिट দেশ এবং দেশের মানুষ এমন কোন কাজ বা পলিসি নাও যেটা তো बेनिफिट হতে পারে তো আমি আমার ব্যক্তিগতভাবে মনে করি যে এই ধরনের মানুষগুলোকে যদি আমরা উৎসাহিত করে তাতে করে এরা যখন बेनिफिट হবে একসাথে দেশ এবং বাকি যারা আমরা আছি দেশে যারা থাকে তারাও बेनिफिट he handed tens of thousands of farmers with seeds, saplings, fertilizers and fowls. He trained 2017 farmers how they could produce high-breed komol seeds on their own. Like his father, Tariq Rahman dug canals with spades and hands and released young fishes into ponds. In bitter winters, he presented himself with warm clothes among the poor, anonymously leaving blankets and putting a smile to their impoverished face. He was concerned at such a micro level that he arranged weddings of deprived girls. Recognizing the value of education in producing an enlightened generation and empowered nation, he provided scholarships to thousands of meritorious students on the basis of exam results, who overpowered financial barriers and proved to the world that all they require to succeed is personal dedication and social inspiration. Tariq Rahman established hundreds of health camps by inviting surgery teams from the overseas, where about 45,000 patients were treated and provided free medicines. 
He established asthma care, child care and eye hospitals and arranged modern training for doctors and nurses where over 37,000 patients received free treatment. After each flood, he formed volunteer teams and sent them to rural areas, which altogether supported over 63,000 affected people with food, drink, medicine and shelter. Tariq Rahman launched tree plantation programs with a view to protecting the environmental equilibrium and planted 617,000 saplings throughout the country. He initiated projects to combat the problem of acquiring drinking water and served 670 families with pure water. Besides nurturing the grassroots, Tariq Rahman was concerned about enhancing Bangladesh's exposure to the outer world. He visited Microsoft and other high-tech Western companies and interacted with Bill Gates. He learned their activities and operations and modelled national technological growth accordingly. Tariq Rahman was the first Bangladeshi politician who used cutting-edge IT to organise a digital conference and exchange insights with expatriates from 27 countries, enabling them to ask questions, lead discussions and suggest policies. Tariq Marman as the architect of digital Bangladesh and talks about his willingness to rely on modern instruments and software so as to enhance transparency and foster accountability among public servants and electoral politicians. And I think that that recognition of the importance of the digital age and the way in which it can change and shape and be used in empowering people I think is a really important one. That requires a particularly brave kind of politician to unleash that process. And I think that we at the Young Foundation always welcome leading politicians who are brave enough to actually share that view. And I think with his emphasis on the empowerment of grassroots people, it's clear that Tariq Rahman is one of those politicians. Tariq Rahman's bottom-up approach of grassroots empowerment was countered by the Awami League's top-down approach of negative propaganda campaign. Having subjected to unprecedented vengeance, Tariq Rahman was first arrested and then suffered in human torture. Such was the brutality that he had to fly to the UK for urgent and advanced treatment. Seven years have passed. Two anti-Tariq Rahman governments have conspired. Conspirators have filed 17 fabricated cases. Ill-motivated media houses have collaborated. Still, not a single case has been proved against Tariq Rahman. Although he repeatedly sent legal notices to Awami League leaders, including Sheikh Hasina, for launching baseless accusations, they never had the courage to respond or even accept those notices, despite controlling the judiciary, administration, legislature and law enforcers. Yet, the Awami League keeps banging the same drums of accusations and allegations without any proof of guilt. Two key words that must resonate in Tariq Rahman's heart. Liberty, because he was deprived of his own liberty while under arrest. And during that time, his human rights, two other key words, were cruelly violated. These events must have been especially hard to bear for a person whose fundamental theories advocate peace and tolerance. I do sympathize with the unfortunate circumstances Tariq Rahman had to endure during the 2007 and 2008 uh, years, which probably is still haunting until today. Any political regime in Dhaka or anywhere else that uses political imprisonment or political environment, uh, political violence or torture as a tool of management is not worth any kind of credibility, support or moral or, or international recognition. This the promotion of him is in part to defeat the negative publicity that he's attracted. It's not just the horrible, unbelievable torture that he suffered at the hands of his enemies. 
people who were enemies not only of him but enemies of democracy, he was vilified unashamedly, blatantly, uh, appallingly over such a large part of his life. Yet he's never wavered, wavered from his dedication to the country, his dedication to his principles, and his dedication to the grassroots democracy. Tariq Rahman, unlawful imprisonment and his tired suffering make us feel sad since he is one from whom we expect something special in the future. Yet I'm sure that for his sufferings we will not have been made a weaker person rather than stronger. A stronger leader who will be able to guide the Bangladeshi people through difficult times. Meanwhile, after two decades of direct political engagement, the charismatic leadership of Tariq Rahman and his potential to transform the BMP and Bangladesh earned him utmost trust of the leaders, activists and supporters, and most importantly, the general people across the country. He was elected as the senior vice chairman of the BMP in its National Council of 2009, although he couldn't attend due to ongoing medical treatment in the UK. On naim habe griftar kore mitha mamlay jodiye sharirik nijjaton kora holo. Shobhota manobota ayn om niyom nitir kono tuakka na kori amar upore choleche poichashik sharirik nijjaton. Tara hoye to amake hottai korte cheyechilo. Kintu apnader antorik bhalo basha deshbashi dua ebong ma babar shatkormer gune Allah rahmate ami while living abroad, Tariq Rahman reflects on his past to draw a better future, analyzes the present situation of Bangladesh, and plans to revive the nation. All areas of state intervention are integral to Tariq Rahman's development initiatives. <laughs> বাংলাদেশের অর্থনীতি ও সার্বিক বৈশিষ্ট্যকে বিবেচনা করে একে স্ট্র্যাটেজিক বা সাসটেইনেবল ভাবে একটি ইন্ডাস্ট্রিয়ালাইজড দেশ হিসেবে গড়ে তোলা এখন সময়ের দাবি দেশীয় চাহিদা পরিপূরণ বিপুল সংখ্যক কর্মসংস্থান সৃষ্টি এবং রপ্তানির ব্যাপক প্রসার এই তিনটি লক্ষ্যকে সামনে রেখে দেশের সম্ভাবনাময় ও রপ্তানি কেন্দ্রিক শিল্পগুলোকে এগিয়ে নিয়ে যাওয়া দরকার কৃষি সংক্রান্ত সকল ডাটা এবং ইনফরমেশন যেন একসাথে পাওয়া যায় সেসব তথ্যের বিশ্লেষণ লক্ষ্যে একটি কৃষি তথ্য ভান্ডার গড়ে তোলা প্রয়োজন বিশ্বের উন্নত দেশগুলোর মতো আমাদের ছাত্রছাত্রীদেরও তৃতীয় এমনকি চতুর্থ ভাষায় পারদর্শিতা অর্জনের জন্য উদ্যোগ নেওয়া প্রয়োজন সেই লক্ষ্যে স্প্যানিশ ফ্রেঞ্চ আরবিক জার্মান ম্যান্ডারিন Work that breaks new ground doesn't go unattended. Tariq Rahman's contribution is no exception. He has become the last resort to pragmatic Bangladeshis to make a difference. Rigorous research takes place to examine and appreciate his political thought and policy proposals. Bangladesh Policy Forum Cambridge published a book titled The Political Thought of Tariq Rahman, Empowerment of the Grassroots People. The book comprises 17 articles written by eminent national and international academics, journalists and politicians on the politics and thoughts of Tariq Rahman. It was launched in June 2013 at the University of Cambridge, followed by American, Australian and Canadian editions, respectively inaugurated at Columbia University, University of New South Wales and University of Toronto, from Oxford University to London School of Economics, from Harvard University to Massachusetts Institute of Technology, from parliamentary offices to national libraries 
the book on Tariq Rahman has found its place with great distinction. In the era of globalization, Tariq Rahman's encouraging work is becoming a role model for other countries as a means of advancement, progression and development. This book uh, is a very well presented and a very well edited book. The most interesting thing, and those of you, when you get a chance to read it, should look at the people, firstly, who have made the series of essays. If you look at the qualifications, the academics, the lawyers, the politicians, uh, the members of the community that have put this book together in a very well presented uh, collection of essays are of themselves quite remarkable people. This book is not only about him and what he believes in. It is about what many leaders. This is not just a book for Bangladesh. This is not just a book for his party. It is a book that many leaders in many countries can learn from. The message to me of the book is one of hope and unity because there's a, a new hope simply that it's there and that a new story is being told again. The book in that sense itself is an act of soft vengeance. But it talks about other things, family, the need for the rural areas to be empowered and to, connect, to be connected to the urban areas so there's no urban bias, no lack of resources flowing beyond the cities to the poorest of the poor who so often have rents extracted from them. By, by those who extract rents in, rents in the policy making process. And how to do that using technology, using a reinvented state, commitment to human rights, and a Bangladesh which connects itself internationally and looks up and around to the best examples. Uh, so this is a very exciting moment for me, talking about grassroots politics and empowerment and campaigning, because that's what we're doing here in Canada. And it's really exciting for me to be here and with my presence to encourage you and say, you know, keep on going. This is important for It is interesting to me as a liberal to listen to um, Terry Roland's countryman speak of him, because I would dare say that if he was in Canada, he would probably be a liberal. You talk about the kinds of things that we as liberals in Canada talk about, that it is the political thought, it is the grassroots that is important. It is important that governments and political leaders are subservient to the people that they represent, that they work for better outcomes for their lives. President Obama was a minister in social media and capturing diversity of culture. He empowered those in urban economical troubled communities proving that they're both mad. Tariq Rahman has fresh ideas and reaches out to the grassroots of Bangladesh. He believes the people of Bangladesh know what they want for the betterment of the country. As a person who has dedicated more than 20 years as a great patriot, working to achieve the best possible outcomes for Bangladesh, I earnestly hope, Tariq Rahman, that you will soon be able to return home and realize to return home and realize the clear objectives that you have for your country and your people, with everyone getting involved, truly involved, and communities working for each other, thus enabling Bangladesh to achieve its full and very exciting potential in the modern world. With his unique and forward-looking political thoughts, Mr. Rahman is the change that the countrymen want to see. His safe return will lead Bangladesh to prosperity and progress with an agenda on social equity and as an iconic leader of the developing world. He will act with wisdom to promote peace within and outside the world of turmoil. Passionate patriots never get ruined for loving their country and standing for noble cause. Their names are written in golden letters in the pages of history.
Tariq Rahman, as we all believe, is heading towards that direction. Inevitably and increasingly, millions and millions of Bangladeshis are standing for him, standing behind him, fighting for him and fighting with him. Tariq Rahman himself is getting ready to finish what he had begun, empowerment of the grassroots people and development of an inclusive Bangladesh. He's waiting to be surrounded by the rural mass yet again, to provide a new meaning of life to the citizens, to their families and to the wider nation. The whole country is waiting for his glorious return to mark the most remarkable homecoming in its history. Tariq Rahman, make it happen. Come back. Bangladesh needs you now.